Rosie and Fizz, Rosie and Fizz, playing together, whatever the weather. Two best friends and the fun never ends. So come on in and play with Rosie and Fizz. Hello, my name is Lucy and this is Rosie. Hello Rosie. Let's put Rosie here. And this is Fizz. Hello Fizz and Rosie and Fizz have been very busy today playing with their toys and inside their toy box are lots of clues for today's story. Shall we have a look? There's some hoops, a yellow hoop, a red hoop and a purple hoop. A feather and a very tall hat. A very tall hat with a pink flower. Rosie and Fizz are putting on a show and we're going to help them. So are you ready? Let's switch to story time. And we switch to story time by making a big story clock. Can you make a big story clock with me? After three, one, two, three, a big story clock with seconds, minutes and hours. And pretend your body is the big hand and put your little hand like this and join in with me. Tick. Tock, it's the story clock. It must be time for a story. Tick, tock, it's the story clock. Are you ready for a story? Stretch up high, stretch down low. Wriggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Tick, tock, it's the story clock. Hands up, who's ready for a story? Rosie and Fizz were playing by the garden wall. It was a very high wall. They couldn't see over it, but they always heard lots of noises coming from the other side. They heard cars that beeped, beep beep, and people that chattered, and sirens that were very noisy. Cover your ears, Fizz. Nee no, nee no, nee no, nee no. But this was a very special day because Rosie and Fizz heard music playing. <laughs> I wonder where that music is coming from, said Fizz. And then Rosie and Fizz saw something quite extraordinary. From above the garden wall, they saw a very tall hat. A very tall hat with coloured dots and a pink flower. I wonder whose hat that is? asked Rosie. And then the very tall person wearing the very tall hat started to throw hoops in the air all at the same time. And people started clapping and cheering. Then the very tall person, wearing the very tall hat, started to spin plates on sticks in the air, all at the same time. And the clapping and cheering grew louder and louder and louder. Hooray! shouted Rosie and Fizz. Then the very tall person, wearing the very tall hat, started to throw balls in the air, all at the same time. And the clapping and cheering grew louder and louder and louder. I have hoops, said Rosie. Let's put on a show. That's a good idea, said Fizz. Choo, 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 choo. And now, said Fizz, 
Wait for us, interrupted Caterpillar. We want to see the show too. And Caterpillar, Hedgehog and Owl sat down on the rug. Are we ready? asked Rosie. Ready, said everyone. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the show, shouted Fizz. Rosie started spinning the hoops around, going faster and faster and faster and flung them in the air. Catch them, Rosie, shouted Fizz. One, two and bump. Ouch. Ta-da! My go, said Caterpillar. And now for the great tightrope walk. Look how high Caterpillar is, said Rosie. And Caterpillar wriggled all the way along the string. Wow, cried Fizz. And everyone clapped. Now it was Hedgehog's turn and Hedgehog found a feather on the ground. And now for the disappearing feather, said Hedgehog. First, Hedgehog balanced the feather on his nose. Now you see it, now you don't. And Hedgehog curled up into the smallest ball Rosie and Fizz had ever seen. Hooray, shouted Rosie and Fizz, and everyone clapped. Next, it was Owl's turn. Rosie, do you have any ribbon I can borrow? asked Owl. Rosie looked in her bits and bobs box. Oh yes I do, said Rosie. I have some green ribbon and some orange ribbon. Thank you, said Owl. Holding the ribbons, Owl swooped into the air and then twisted and turned, dancing in the sky. Everyone clapped and cheered. Fizz was the last to go. And we'll finish with a song. You've seen the show, it's time to go. Jump up high and crouch down low. With hoops and feathers and ribbons up high. Thank you for watching, now say goodbye. And as Rosie and Fizz looked up at the high wall, the tall man wearing the very tall hat had disappeared and everything was quiet again. And that was the story of Rosie and Fizz put on a show. It's nearly time for Rosie and Fizz to go, but just before we do, let's stick the feathers and the hoops inside the Rosie and Fizz storybook so they'll always remember their adventure and tell their friends all about it. Thank you for joining us and why don't you join us next time? I wonder what toys we'll find inside Rosie and Fizz's toy box. We'll see you then. Bye! Right then, should we stick them in? Let's find a new page. Here you go. And let's stick in the hoops first. Let's go like that. Bye!